Hi children, good day to all of you. And the chapter we are studying now is the production process and we are discussing about the factors of production. You must have studied about factors of production in the last class. Yes, definitely. And what are the four factors of production? Yes, we can classify the factors of production into land, labor, capital and organization and we already studied about land and labor right today we learn about capital and organization capital what is this capital capital is very essential for the production of a product and for providing the basic facilities so according to economist capital is the main important factor of production it is necessary for establishing a factory or industry or buying equipments or paying salaries to laborers buying raw materials for production and uh, the any other process we need capital and tangible and visible man made things used for production is called capital yes so it is tangible that means it can be seen and visible man made things used for production are called capital computers vehicles and machines which can be used in production are also considered as capital now the features of capital capital helps the other factors of production like labor land and organization capital enhances the production skills of the laborers so it enhances the production skills and capital has mobility now like the other factors of production capital also get reward what is the reward for capital the reward for capital is interest so labor it is wages and here in capital it is interest so we are investing capital in a business we get interest for it now comes the organization organization implies the coordination of various factors of production like land labor and capital so the person who coordinates or uh, who maintains the organization is called as an organizer or entrepreneur so look at this picture it is like land labor and capital these three are connected to organization and at last the product is being producted and it is in the pro uh, process of production and at last it becomes a product so this is the role of an organization or an organizer in the production process so he occupies capital labor land and he organizes together and it becomes a production process and at last it become product profit is a reward for the organizer now the coordinated functioning of the factors of production leads to production which is an economic activity and results in products to satisfy human wants products are essential this makes production and continuous process now look at this picture this picture depicts the circular flow of economic activities here the production unit produces goods and services and the household unit consumes them like uh, the production unit produce, produces goods and services and we consume goods like rice sugar etc and we have studied that the products are used or consumed to satisfy human wants and desires human wants are many when we satisfy one want or one desire another comes out with changes in goods wants and services also change correspondingly and they need to be produced so this process is continuous
Since the production and consumption are continuous, the economic activities follow a circular pattern. Now, we will go through the chapter once again. We study that goods are things that are tangible and visible and are used to satisfy human wants. Services also satisfy human wants, but they are intangible and invisible. To consume goods and services in accordance with our requirements, we need to produce them. Land, labor, capital and organization are the factors of production. The characteristics of each factor of production are different. Rent, wages, interest and profits are the rewards for the factors of production, land, labor, capital and organization respectively. The continuous process of production and consumption results in the circular flow of economic activities. So, we shall wind up the chapter and please go through the video once again and study about the factors of production. Thank you.